Hello and welcome to tutorial 3 of the Android programming series. So this is where you should have left off in the last tutorial. If you haven't uh, checked it out already I'll leave a link in the description. So what we did in the last tutorial was did an overview of the environment we're in. Uh, looks at strings and how to get a view onto the page via the layout. So what I'm going to show you today is how to test your app. Testing your app is always good as you can debug any code and just check see if your app can still run on your new with your new code. So the first type of testing I'm going to show you is through the emulator. And to make this possible, you've got to add an Android virtual device to the environment. So to do this you go to Window, Android Virtual Device Manager. So you can see there's no devices. So you go to New, give it a name, call it Device 1. So my phone's a Nexus 4 so I'm just going to target a Nexus 4 for this. Android 4.4, level 19. So keep the target as the same target as your project so it will find the emulator easily. For the time being I'm going, to, I'm going to go no skin. You can just check these options out, fiddle around with them and just generally see what they do to your app and the emulation of it. So I've missed something out there. By the looks of it. Why it's not allowing me to do it. Oh, so I'm assuming you can't have numbers in. The AVD name then. So we click OK. That should load. Alright, so as you can see now, we've got the device we created API level 19, 4.4.2, which is KitKat. So now I've got the emulation device for the, the target API we want. We want to run the app on the emulation. So to do this, you just right click on your project. So in this case, it's my first app. Go to run as Android application. And you just check the console. So as you can see, automatic target mode so it's targeting the API level that your project is in comparison to emulation and then it's launching the new emulator which is compatible in this case it's called the BIOS which we do, we've just created this normally takes a while to load so let's give it some time it's not crashed or anything it's just an emulation which has a gig RAM. The great thing about emulations is that you can test your app for multiple devices without physically owning them. So this will obviously save money because it wasn't an emulation system where you had to test your apps on your phone all the time. So it comes in handy for that kind of aspect of the programming and designing for various devices on Android. But for this tutorial, we're just going for the Nexus 4, which is a mobile device. So I'll just speed this up.
So now once that's loaded, you should have this screen. It will introduce you to the emulation. Just open it up. Can be a bit laggy. Let's go into the apps. I don't know why this hasn't come up. Oh, okay, so it's failed to install the APK. And why is that? So once I resolve that error, I'll come back. So I found the error, so what it was was I don't know where my code was. But the syntax error, I got rid of that and I cleaned my project. So I went to project clean and it installed my new APK successfully. So now I'm going to go back to emulation and you can now see it here. So my first app, hello world, this is an application description, this is a sub description. And that's how you test an application using emulator. The next tutorial we're going to go over testing the application through an actual mobile device and how to transfer these APK files and I'll explain a bit more about APK files as well just so you understand what's going on and why they're being moved like that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that's it.